In this video, I'm going to show you how to tie the blowback multi-rig. Traditionally, multi-rigs are tied with coated materials. I'm going to break with tradition on this rig, and I'm going to use a heavy duty braid. Normally braid can't be used for the multi-rig because the D keeps on slipping out of position. This is where the blowback tube comes in. To tie this rig, I'm going to use some 35 pound armor link, some size six shod twisters, some blowout tubes and some shrink tube. If you don't have any blowout tubes, you can substitute for either hook beads or a small round bead. Just bear in mind that depending on what size of braid you're using, these might not work as well as blowout tubes. So to tie the rig, we're going to take some of our braid and I'm going to measure out 25 centimetres. So I'm going to tie an overhand loop one in each end to form the multi-rig. Now if you're using big baits obviously you'll have to tie big loops but I'm going to be using 15 or 18 more baits with this rig so three centimetres as a minimum size loop would be just fine. I'm just put, going to put a puller in there give that a quick tighten up. Don't have to pull too hard it's just enough to settle that knot down at this stage. So if we measure that loop off that's turned out to be three and a half centimetres which is just perfect. Then we're going to tie an identical sized loop in the other end. So that's just over three centimetres there. So to make that a fraction bigger, if I just hold that knot and pull like that, and there we've hit our three and a half centimetre target. Perfect. To make sure these knots don't slip, give them a little pull down, and then we can trim up these tag ends. So that rig has turned out to be about 13 centimetres long. So you can see it's quite a short rig, quite an aggressive rig, but it's going to be perfect for going inside a solid PVA bag. If you just squeeze down that, uh, that loop tight, you should be able to pass that loop without any issue whatsoever through the front, out the back of that loop. If you're having trouble threading that loop through a hook, here's a little trick. You can take some, this is just some regular bait floss, or you can use dental floss, fine mono, whatever you've got to hand. You pass that through there, then take your multi-rig loop, Pass the floss back through the eye. And what we've made is a little threading needle. That pops through there ever so easy. And we can continue on with the rig. Now normally, of course, on the multi-rig, we just pass that over there like that and pull up the D to about that position and away we go. The problem is that this is a supple material. This is braid and with not a lot of force that will just slide up there and it will completely change the mechanics of the rig. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little something on the braid to completely change the way that this rig works. So I'm going to take one of these blowout tubes here. This is a medium sized blowout tube which I've found to be perfect with a 35 pound armor link. If you're using lighter weight braid then I'd suggest that you try the smaller size of blowout tube. To install these, you want one of these pointed baiting needles. Then all we do is take our loop and pop the blowback tube over it like that. We pass the loop round the back of the shank and you can see with a little bit of pressure that tightens up like that. So this blowback tube helps keep this loop open which is what we want. Now we can mount a bait. This is an 18 mil Scopex squid. Could be 15 mil, could be a pop-up, could be a wafter, loads of options. And to mount it, I'm gonna use my little trick with a bit of mono. So I just grab a bit of bullet here, pull a loop through like that. And I want this tag end to be about three or four centimeters, something like that. And I want the loop to be quite small, about four mil long, something like that. Then I can trim this other end off. And I'm gonna take my lighter and I'm gonna do a cut and blob technique to form a little bait stop. So to mount the bait, we just pass that through like that, pop the loop off the hook, take the bait loop, pass the braided loop through the mono loop Take the hook point, pass that through the braided loop, draw up, and then we just slide that mono loop 
back down there. Pull the bloke back tube up a bit and that is basically the finished business end of the rig. One of the great things about multi-rigs is that they're reusable because we can change out that hook and we can change out that bait. I'm going to go to the extra step of putting a shrink tube here and here and prevents these tag ends from fraying. The shrink tube also is a great benefit when we add some putty because there's a larger surface area for the putty to stick to and you're less likely to lose the expensive putty. Load the shrink tube onto the needle there, hook on our loop, load the shrink tube on. Then we need a couple of rig pullers and I'll put one puller on that end and I'm going to actually put the rig puller through the bait loop there because I don't want to be moving that blowout tube. Now it's time to spark up the stove. Now what you want to do, you want to make sure that the blowout tube is pushed on that way. You don't want to do it the other way. You want that tag end folded back. That'll just keep it nice and neat. We do exactly the same to the other side. Okay, so that's the finished rig. Let's have a look at the advantages that it brings us. You can cast this in the water just like this and the force of the impact of the water will pull on that bait and that D-loop will not move. It really won't. I didn't believe this but I've tested it loads. You can fire this in quite fiercely. If you get a pickup from a carp, it's going to pull on that and with just a little bit of force that loop will start to slide. If you wind down, hit that bite and unfortunately this time you didn't catch a fish. If you wind in and it looks like this, basically it means that the carp has gotten away with it and you've been done. So this works in exactly the same principle as Kevin's original blowback rig. It lets you know when you've been done, which helps you become a better angler. The other advantages of this rig is it enables us to pre-mount bait ready to loop on with little loops. So if you need to fish really, really hard baits, air dried baits that have been, or glugged baits, anything like that, you can make these baits up with this little loop. And when you need to change the bait, you just slide that down like that, pop the loop off, that bait's done, change it for another one. It keeps your fishing cheap, easy and quick. The most important element of any rig is the hook. More importantly, how sharp that hook is. Now, I've inspected that hook and it was absolutely perfect out the packet. I fish with that total confidence, no issues. But if I were to put that in the water, fish it for a night and say I didn't catch one. If I'm fishing over gravel and I bring that rig in, the chances are that that hook is gonna be damaged. If I'm fishing a conventional rig, then I would be forced to bin that entire rig and start again, but not with this rig, because all I have to do is pop that tube off, take the hook off, grab another one out the packet. Obviously I'm going to check that one's perfect as well, which it is. Take the loop, pass the loop back through, take our blowout tube, remount it on the needle, pop the loop back on, reinstall the blowout tube, grab a fresh bait, hook the bait on, rehook the hook through the loop and reset the rig. Super quick, super efficient, it'll keep you fishing at maximum effectiveness. These rigs won't last forever of course, if you see some signs of wear or damage or you hook a massive cat on one of these rigs, you know, it's going to be destroyed and you'll have to tie another one. But pretty much I could tie up six of these for a week's fishing and that would be plenty enough for the week. So that's the business end of the rig and obviously you know we can couple it to a range of different lead systems and it's going to work. The lead system I'm going to use is an inline running lead because they work best inside a solid PVA bag. Firstly I'm going to remove the plastic insert from the inline lead. Then I take a one meter length of lead free leader and add an inline lead insert to it. Then add a size 8 ring swivel. Thread the leader through the lead and lightly push the insert into the bottom of the lead. 
So that's the lead system ready to go. All we've got to do now is grab the rig and bring the two together with a loop to loop connection. So all we do is pass the loop through the ring swivel then we open that, that loop. You can see why it's important to get the size of that loop right. That's just going to be large enough to pass an 18mm bait through. If it was a 20mm bait it might not have fitted through and we'll just pull that up like that. And that's the finished rig. One little shake, dunk and it's off. So the carp is going to find it very very difficult if not impossible to do this setup. When he moves away we're going to get fabulous bite indication because that's now just as a pure running rig. At the business end we've got a number of things going on. So we've basically got all of the benefits of a rig like the Slip D rig with all of the benefits of the multi-rig combined into one rig. The carp's going to take that bait in and that hook is going to turn over and grab and then he's going to blow that bait out. And when he does that it's going to go up there and when he pulls away on the hook that's going to tighten down there like that. So when he's trying to blow that bait out the bait's actually being pulled from the eye end which is where you want it to be. That's why these rigs work very well and we've got our blowback indicator so that if by some chance he does manage to eject that at least we'll know we've been done and it wasn't a savage liner. I've set that up as a bottom bait, could be a wafter on there. If I added a split shot here we'd have a, a great little pop-up rig. So super effective for a range of different types of bait. Because this is a supple material to be extra sure that that's completely pinned down on the deck I'm going to add a couple of bits of putty here and here on that shrink tube to help it pin it down. Don't need much, that'll uh, pin it down just nice. That's the rig all putted up, ready to be loaded into a solid PVA bag. This rig is perfect for dropping from a bait boat or spooning out or actually dropping from a rowing boat. If you're casting I would recommend that you put the whole lot inside a solid PVA bag. If you're a good caster and can confidently hit the clip and land a rig perfectly every time then you can absolutely cast this rig no problem. If you're already a fan of the Slip D rig then I think you're going to love this little rig. The ability to change out hook baits and have them pre-mounted with little mono loops is a real benefit. The ability to change hooks is absolutely revolutionary for this little rig. The Slip D rig if there's any damage at all on that hook you would have to resharpen it and if you haven't got the kit or you haven't got the skills or you're a bit nervous about doing that it is far better just to bin the hook and get a fresh one. The other benefit of this simple little rig is it's so universal for a number of different situations. Because it's completely supple if you are fishing in some silt or you're not quite sure of what you're fishing over then this supple rig is just going to present. Okay the lead might sink a little way into the silt or even a longer way into the silt. This supple material will keep this rig presentable at all times and with those just those extra little bits of putty will sort it all out and stop the risk of hook link loop up. If you're faced with weed and the weed is not too bad then this rig will work great especially in a solid PVA bag. If you're fishing in heavy weed then I actually wouldn't recommend this rig. The rig bit is okay but I'd change the lead system. I'd change it to an inline drop off system which was what these little inline inserts were originally designed to be for. Here at Beausoleil we haven't got any weed but we've got all sorts of types of bottom. We've got super soft silt, we've got some nice aerobic silt, we've got rocks and stones and gravel and everything in between. This rig will fish brilliantly over all of those types of bottom and it's caught me some fantastic fish while I've been testing this rig. 